Hello, my friends. Reverend Mark William Ennis here, also known as Pastor Mark. And I'm glad you're joining me for week number two of children's Bible stories of Naaman. You remember last week we talked about Naaman was a very powerful general. He was from a country other than Israel, and he was often an adversary of Israel's. But he had a skin condition called leprosy. And his wife's servant girl, who had been captured on a raid, recommended that he go to Israel and talk to Elisha, the prophet, for a cure. Well, he decides to take that advice. And so he goes to his king and says, I want to go to Israel to find the cure for this skin condition of mine. Will you please write me a letter of introduction to the king of Israel? And so the king of Syria writes a letter to the king of Israel and says, I'm sending my servant Naaman the general, he's going to your country to get a cure for his leprosy. Please let him in. Please let him do this. And of course, Naaman, he assumed that you can buy your way into getting grace from God. So he loaded up all kinds of mules. He put fancy, expensive garments on them. He had piles of gold. He had piles of silver. And he goes into the country of Israel. And he's bringing all these things. And he's bringing this letter of introduction from his king, which says, I'm here to get a cure for my leprosy. Now, why did he bring all those expensive garments? Why did he bring all that gold? Why did he bring all that silver? Who is he going to give all this to? I mean... We all know that we've got to pay doctors when we go to them. And of course, we pay for meals and restaurants. When a mechanic works on our car, yes, we, we pay the mechanic. But if you're seeking a cure from a man of God, can you expect that you can buy a favor from God? If you want God's grace, if you want a favor from God, do you have to give money to God? Does, do you think God maybe has all the money God wants? And maybe God has all the fancy garments God might want? When we approach God, do we sometimes make this mistake that we can buy a favor from God? Do you ever bargain with God? God, such and such bad thing is happening. If you will help me through this bad problem, I'll give $10 in the collection plate on Sunday. Is that really how we need to approach God? If we're looking for a gracious favor from God, shouldn't we be a little more humble? And shouldn't we know that the great things we get from God, we can't purchase? They're simply gracious gifts from God. But Naaman doesn't know God. Naaman just knows about power and money and influence. And so he goes to Israel. And he's got this letter from his king with him. And he's got all these riches. 
He's got servants with him, too, to carry all these riches. And he thinks he's going to buy a favor from God. You know what? That doesn't work. That doesn't work at all. I hope you never have an illness. But if you do, and you're praying to God for a cure, or at least the ability to manage the illness, approach God humbly. No, not with money or stuff or bargains. Simply say, God, be merciful to me. I'd rather not live with this illness. And if you're in a tough spot, don't try to bargain. A simple God, have mercy on me. I need your grace to get through this difficult time. That usually works a little better. So, what happens when Naaman goes to the land of Israel with a letter of introduction and all of these very, very expensive goods? Well, that's next time. Next week will be part three of Naaman. And I hope you join us. And I hope that you bring a few friends with you, that more people may hear these studies. This is Pastor Mark. Thank you for joining. God bless you this week.